Hey, everybody, this is Perch. You know one thing about uh, Texas? Um, <laughs> I'm about to bitch about Texas. Um, the, the trains, I don't know if it's just people are, I don't know if it's just fucked up here or what. But, like, I've been sitting here waiting for a train for 25 minutes. I mean, I recorded three videos, and the train is just sitting here on a track. Everybody stopped. The guy, uh, two cars up, has gotten out of the car and is just, like, smoke, like, just, just, just smoking. I don't know what the fuck's going on. This is the middle of uh, downtown. The train is just sitting there. It's not really moving. It's just that nobody's fucking doing anything. It's been almost a half an hour. I, I shit you not. This is what causes uh, road rage. You know, people are like, oh, Texans, or they, they've, they've got their guns and they're all crazy. No, it's a fucking train. That's what's going on. There's a guy, several cars ahead, you can't hear it on this video, but that guy's just honking at the train. Like, just he's blared out of the horn. Or, or she, or whatever. They're just, like, just going nuts at this train. I don't know what the fuck the train's going to do, but that's that's what's going on. It's, uh, it's, it, is, it is bizarre. I don't know what the absolute shit is going on here but um but anyway fucking texas i i don't know I, I guess i'm very negative about texas i don't mean to be you know it's it's not that i you know it's not that i i thoroughly hate texas i don't but there are some parts of it that are just i don't get at all i'm gonna cut through a parking lot here and see if i can get a, get around this thing it's, this is gonna be a video of me trying to get away um all right so uh, let's let's get into this video. We got a mail here. It says, what's the ROI for good creators? They return on investment for good creators. This is going to be a question I'm going to struggle to answer. So I'm hoping some of the good creators that listen to these videos will come in the comments and, and help out a little bit with them. Because one of the things about ROI is it's somewhat, um, it's, and, and by the way, for those of you who are wondering, what the fuck's ROI? It's return on investment is what ROI is. And so I'm hoping some people can come in here with some good advice and, and give their opinions on it. It says, hello, Perch. An observation made by basically everyone in comics, YouTube, is a big two are going cheap on talent to save money. Uh, by the way, yes, it is to save money. There's another factor here, though. Um, it turns out when you hire cheap talent, the cheap talent has fewer demands and bitch less. And that's, uh, you know, that's, that's maybe an important factor in all this. It's a sad, pathetic factor, but it is a, it is a factor. Okay? All right. Um, but but yeah, saving money saving money is apparently the name of the game nowadays. It says, but I also don't think it's exactly controversial to say an A list talent say that sells way more books than cheap talent. Absolutely. I mean, what's the worst selling Scott Snyder DC comic versus the best selling Danny Lord Marvel book? Yeah, I mean, it, it will you know you stop trying to make Danny Lore happen. It's not going to happen. And no offense, I'm Danny Lore. You know, I'm sure is a wonderful human being. I, I'm actually not sure about that at all. I get the feeling from Danny Lore's tweets that, that Danny is a miserable human being, but yeah, no, whatever. I don't know. I don't know Danny, so that's I'm talking out of my ass here. But I'm. It, it certainly seems like that is a that is a um, not the okay. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to move on. Well, my question is, how good is the ROI for those A list talents, and versus how much does it diminish the? Uh, wait, wait, say okay. This this sentence is getting complicated. I'm all flustered by the train. It says, my question is, how good is the ROI for those A-list talent, and how much does it diminish the further from A-list characters you go? All right, I'm, I'm struggling to understand this one a little bit. Um, it says, like, what would sell more, Scott Snyder and Francis Monopool team up on Hawkman, or Vita and Danny Lore on the main Batman title? Okay, I got it. How safe a bet is it that A-list talent compared to going cheap? Because honestly, every day I consider all the great talent still active, but not on a big two book. It annoys me. And then I remember that all the bad writers who are on those books. Okay, that that last paragraph, I I, I, I struggle a little bit with what was being said. But I think the, the idea there is um, how much of the, the selling, how much of the sale of the book is due to the talent on the book and how much of the sale is, uh, you know, just inherent to the characters. So the, uh, the challenge that you have here is that, you know, if you put, you know, Vita uh, Ayala on Batman, it's going to sell reasonably well. If you put uh, Danny Lore on Spider-Man, it's going to sell. If he's, well, I mean, there are, all these titles are, you know, completely overexposed, but, you know, it'll sell okay. Um, if you put a really talented writer 
on an absolute B-list character. If you if you take Scott Snyder and you put Scott Snyder on, I, I don't know, just, you know, Blue Marvel. Okay? I like Blue Marvel as a character. But Blue Marvel is not a, a, a list big character. Blue Marvel is relatively unknown. So if you take Scott Snyder and you put Scott Snyder on Blue Marvel, does it sell? And the answer is, um, you know, probably Vita on Batman outsells Scott Snyder on Blue Marvel. And so it's it's the quality of the creator and it's also the quality of the property. So if if you have, you know, one argument that's been made and it's it's not entirely wrong, but there's a flaw in it, you'll see it, is if you have really strong properties like Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, etc., the, the characters everybody knows in the world, um, can't why why shouldn't you put very new, unknown, cheap creators on those characters? They're gonna sell anyway. That's that's kind of the premise. So, you know, put put Vita on Batman. Kind of it's like, you know, Vita can't fuck it up. You know, you could you could write whatever story you want there, but it's it's still gonna sell. Now the, the problem is twofold. So that logic makes some sense, but it breaks down in in two distinct areas. Number one, um, it breaks down from the standpoint of, um, you know, uh, if, if you, you there's, there's some of these characters, Spider Man, Batman, etc., are so thoroughly overexposed as characters that you know we've we've seen a lot of shitty takes. Batman Urban Legends was canceled, or or it stopped. I, I mean, sometimes the publishers get kind of tricky with the uh, the wording on things. It's like, no, no, it's not canceled. We just decided for no apparent reason to stop publishing it because you know we're we had our fill. We had our fill of money. You know, we enjoyed a lot of money, and then we decided, yeah, we're good with money. And so we decided, even though this is a like super best selling title, you know, we're we're just gonna we're gonna call it a day. That's what we're gonna do. Um, so that's uh, that's that's what you know. The, the reality is, if you have a top selling book, you don't just cancel it out of nowhere. That makes no sense. Um, so you know, but if you overexpose a character, a title, even a very popular one with a bunch of shit, then eventually the sales will go down. And we've seen that with Batman, we've seen it with Spider-Man, we've seen it with several characters. They, they will eventually plummet. And, and so you, you do need to put, so the, the argument number one, you do need to put reasonable, decent creators on these titles, or you wind up overexposing them and actually doing damage to the property, and then nobody makes any money. So that's, that's that. You can play a little bit with how this all goes down but eventually, you are going to have to, uh, you know, put, you know, put actual good creators on this stuff. You, you're going to need to do that. So, you know, that that's one factor. Um, I think that overall, uh, when it comes to comics, you know, I, I think trying to go cheap is a dangerous proposition. You can do it, and you can get away with it for a little bit of time. But ultimately, you're going to actually have to put the money into these characters to make it work. And if you don't, then you know you're 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 playing with fire. It, it, you're going to collapse a property, and it's it's bad. So do a good job. You know, you know, put put reasonable talent, and it is a good idea to pop really big name talent on big name characters because it earns you a lot of credibility and future money and revenue and earning potential with these books. Um, I think that if you put a big name like a you know you put Scott Snyder and you put uh, I don't know I, I'm who's who's a good we'll put a good creator on this. Like it, if you put Scott Snyder and J. Scott Campbell and you say, you two are going to make a Hawk woman book. Um, you know, the Hawk, Hawk man fans will be happy, but that thing's not going to sell terribly well. I, I mean, I just, just hate to say it won't, it won't do great. So you're better off, you know, saving that talent for something really powerful because you're going to work out better in the end. That's just, that tends to be how it works. Every now and then it's kind of fun to see these creators take on something new and different, but you know, y you, uh, you run a risk by exposing the property too much. If you, if you do it, wrong. anyway, what, or what do you think? And I guess my question for you is who are two creators you would love to see on a book that, you know, that, you know, that a, a more independent book, like, do you like Mr. Miracle? Would you like to see, uh, I, I have no idea. Like, uh, Donny Cates and Art Adams do Mr. Miracle. That'd be pretty cool. Wouldn't sell as much as Donny Cates and uh, Art Adams on, say, I don't know, Wolverine, but, you know, would be fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below.
like, and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.